We've derived the general second order model for a second order system and right here I've written the second order model in terms of the damping ratio and the undamped natural frequency. Now we have to turn our attention to solving uh, this differential equation so we know um, the different behaviors of second order systems. To do so I need to determine the roots of the characteristic equation for this differential equation or the eigenvalues and to do that I'm going to use the lambda operator or the differential operator um, to come up with the characteristic equation and solve for the roots of the characteristic equation. Alright, so using the differential operator here, I um, note that uh, this is uh, the same thing as the differential operator squared, so my second order derivative term is uh, turns into lambda squared to get the characteristic equation, plus 2 times the damping ratio times the natural frequency, and this is a first order derivative, so I'll just have a single lambda there, plus the natural frequency squared, and this is a zeroth order derivative, so this will be lambda to the zero, which is the same thing as 1 equals zero, so my characteristic equation looks like this. From that, we see that we are going to have um, a characteristic equation that is a quadratic or uh, is going to have two uh, possible roots um, for the characteristic equation. So the, the uh, roots of my characteristic equation, or my eigenvalues, will be found by determining um, the values of lambda that make this true uh, and make this equal to zero. We also see that this is a quadratic equation, so in order to um, solve uh, for the roots of the characteristic equation, I'm going to apply the quadratic formula. So to find lambda values, I'm going to say lambda is equal to negative b, which is negative 2 times the damping ratio times the natural frequency, plus or minus, that's going to give me my two roots, the square root of b squared, so b squared would be 2 times the damping ratio times the natural frequency, squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, the coefficient there is 1, times c, which is omega n squared, all over 2a. <clears throat> so now I'm going to simplify this a little bit. I'm going to simplify what's under the radical first. All right, so all of this is going to be equal to negative 2 times the natural frequency times the damping ratio plus or minus the square root of. All right, what I'm going to do here is I know that 2 squared is 4, um, and the natural frequency squared will be the natural frequency squared, so I'm going to pull those terms out. I'll have 4 times the natural frequency because it's shared in both of these terms. Then what I will be left with is going to be the square damping uh, ratio, and over here I'll have nothing left, so it'll just be minus 1. And all of that is still divided by 2. Alright, now I'm going to pull that term, that squared term, out of the radical, and I'm left with negative 2, squiggle omega n, plus or minus, 2 omega n times the square root of the damping ratio minus 1 all over 2. And finally, I'm going to uh, simplify by dividing through by 2 here, and I find that my eigenvalues, or my um, roots of this characteristic equation, are going to be negative squiggle omega n plus or minus the natural frequency times the square damping ratio minus 1. All right, so that gives me the two roots of the characteristic equation, or my two eigenvalues, that are associated with this homogeneous second-order differential equation. These eigenvalues, now that we know what the eigenvalues are, we know that the general solution to the homogeneous differential equation is going to be found by um, taking our eigenvalues and using those um, in a general sense 
I have two of these, so lambda 1 times time plus b e to the lambda 2 times time. This will be my general solution for my second order differential equation. If I know my two eigenvalues, I'm going to uh, take them uh, and use them in the exponent of this exponential function and uh, then I have these two unknown coefficients a and b that are going to provide me with the general solution to this second order differential equation. We're going to look further into the uh, different values uh, that our characteristic roots can have and what uh, the implications are on the form of the homogeneous solution.